closed, you've got all this air that has to go somewhere. So when you close the door, it's yeah, not, it's not closed. It's not closed all the way. So you will actually you have go. to give it a little bit of a push oh, okay. when it, when the cabinet's completely shut. Um, So this thing has a uh, hydraulic suspension, it's not air. Um, so there's hydraulic cylinders that level out. Uh, what that does is better ride quality, better, better handling drive. Um, as, as you're driving, the truck will constantly um, move and readjust to keep it as level as possible. So as you go into a corner, imagine going into a corner like on a NASCAR track. As you start turning that corner, it's going to strengthen up one side to make it around the corner. Um, so it's raised up to its normal ride height now, but what will happen is, well, let me see. do anything. The reason for that is if you are loading a bottle and you've got the bottle out what goes low? Yeah it's only so far. Oh yeah. So if you're loading the bottle and the bottle's out you'll notice we're at a little bit of an angle here too is why it's not going down. And the truck squatted right now it would squish the lift yeah. and uh obviously don't want that so we don't when this door is open we do not let it do anything with the suspension um, bottle uh, i know this isn't you guys but just so you know um, the lock is right here you have to unlock it before it'll come out the bottle is going to sit in here and there are there's five straps on everything um, the reason i point this out is because when you strap this bottle in here you want to strap the thing in tight so it stays and you want to put the collar clamp back on. A lot of times what happens is these get thrown away so you don't have to replace them, you know, so they don't have to put them back on. And the straps come out and there's like two holes in the bottle. The bottle. Not a problem until something happens. So you want them in there tight. The other reason you want it in there tight, you'll notice this compartment is built out. And the reason we did that is so in the back of the truck you had more room on the back side. So if you have an isolate or whatever there, there's a little more room to walk around the back side. When we did that, it scooted this whole thing out. So the bottle sits very tight in here. So when you bring it up, if you don't have the bottle in tight and the, the latches to the side right here, they're gonna hit the door. So the bottle's, got, the bottle's gonna sit right in here, just like this. And it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit if you don't have it in time. Uh, so what size? That looks, that platform looks too big for an H cylinder. What are you using? Um, it'll hold an, an H or an M. It will? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, you'll also notice here, the most common problem is regulator failure because of a beating up against the bottle. Um, that's why we did this high pressure hose. So you have high pressure right here to the regulator and then low pressure throughout the truck. So how do you turn it on from the inside? You turn the O2 button on, okay. and then it activ activates the, the uh, solenoid, system. and it lets the air in. So it's not a crank thing? That's right. You open it up, and you leave it open. Okay. One time. That's it. Um, I do need to show you something that I forgot, though, on the inside. So the truck will squat when the back door is open. You see it's dumped in there. So cool. you see where that... That switch is right there that says oxygen and air. Yes. I mean, where the label is. Mm -hmm. Right behind the label, there's actually a quarter turn valve. If you had a complete system failure, if you turn that valve, it overrides the O2 system. Okay, where are you talking about? So underneath, underneath right. the compartment, where it says oxygen the and air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a valve there, okay. and it's an override. So if the okay. system failed and you need O2, you can turn that and it overrides the entire electric so you have system. To turn it back off? You do have to turn it back off when, when you're done. Yeah. So 
people always ask, you know, yeah, it's a button to turn it on, and they say, well, what if it fails? There it is. So, um, it'll, the truck will squat. Um, if for whatever reason you don't want it to squat, um, let's say you back, you're backing into a hospital that has a oh, elevated curb, right, yeah. right, and you're gonna set it down on the mud flap or the bumper, um, then you'll hit this, this uh, dump override. And when you hit that, it's going back up now, but then it will not squat. So, awesome. so if for any reason you open the back doors and it doesn't go down, the first thing I tell people to do is make sure the door's shut. The second thing is check the switch. Um, those two things are probably the problem. The only other thing can be is if the driver actually, uh, on, there's a control panel, if they actually push the button to put it in low height. You don't want to drive with it in low. It's terrible. It has no suspension and it's rough. Okay. Yeah, you saw, saw when you opened the door, it started going up. It's because it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to get it to that low point. Yeah. So the other, this is the oxygen. Yes, sir. Where's the air? Um, it's on this side. The compressor. Oh, okay. Can I slide the truck over just a little bit? Yeah, sure. Go back up just a little bit, guys. So you're right in 